Hello, my name is Nyamiche and today I'm going to take you through certain precautions you can take to protect yourself from the COVID-19. But before we start, what is COVID-19? COVID-19 is a coronavirus. Coronaviruses are a large family of viruses that cause common diseases such as the common cold and sometimes end up giving you severe diseases like respiratory problems. So coronavirus is spread when an infected person coughs, spits, sneezes and droplets of that person's infected saliva land on another or is it inhaled by another person or if those droplets land on surfaces such as phones tables door handles money and a host of others and is breathed in by someone close to them some symptoms of covid 19 include fever fatigue or dry cough now on to the precautionary measures you can take to protect yourself from the COVID-19. You can see that on this table we've laid out a couple of things. The first one, we have a hand sanitizer, we have an alcoholic wrap, we have a washing bowl, a bowl of water, a bar of medicated soap, and a nose mask. The use of hand sanitizers is one of the key measures you can take to protect yourself from the COVID-19 and I'm going to tell you why. Normally, the viruses are transmitted from our hands into our bodies when we touch our eyes, our nose, our mouth. To prevent that from happening, you need a hand sanitizer that has an alcohol percentage of at least 60%. Now, when you take your bottle of hand sanitizer, put a few drops into your palm and wrap it all over your palm. See how I concentrate in my palm, the surface of my palm, the back of my palm, in between my fingers, the tips of my fingers, and my thumb. Remember that the virus can hover on several areas of your hands and it's important that you make sure that your sanitizer is getting to all of these areas so that you are properly getting rid of the viruses. The rubbing alcohol should be at least 70% and this is critical when it comes to cleaning your surfaces, your tables, your door handles, your phones, any hard surface that you need wiped. Remember that the viruses can stay on surfaces for up to three days and proper cleaning with the right alcohol percentage is needed to kill them. We move on to our washing bowl and our bowl of water. This time around, I'm going to need someone to help me. So Santi, my work colleague, is going to help me figure this out. Okay, so we know that the best way to clean your hands thoroughly is to do it under running water. But we are also aware that not everybody has access to running water all the time. No need to panic. You can make do with this. All you need is your bar of medicated soap, a washing bowl, and a bowl of water. A little at a time. You lather up the soap. And again, like I demonstrated with a, bowl, with a bottle of hand sanitizer, wrap it into your palm, make sure that you're working up the lather. Go in between your fingers, like so. Your other palm, just the same way. The back of your palm, coming up to your wrist. The tips of your fingers in your palm. And please, don't forget your thumbs. Make sure that you're washing your hands for at least 20 seconds to make sure that you're getting rid of all the viruses that may be present on your hand. When you are done, You rinse off and wipe down with the tissue. And please remember to dispose of your tissue properly. Keep gonna clean. So we are done with our first precautionary measure that was keeping your hands clean and sanitized. And we are moving on to our second measure, that is avoiding contact with anybody that is exhibiting flu-like symptoms like coughing and sneezing. Please remember that the COVID-19, which is a coronavirus, shares a lot of similarities with a common flu. So even though you might be exhibiting symptoms that might seem like a common flu, 
it might turn out that you actually have the COVID-19. Just to be on the safe side and to make sure that you're keeping yourself safe, please avoid contact with people who have flu-like symptoms. However, if you feel like you can't and that you might be in the position where you're a caregiver for that person, we strongly advise that in relating with them or when you come in contact with them. A nose mask. <laughs> now, the nose mask helps you protect yourself from any droplets that might be coming from the person when they cough, when they sneeze, when they talk. Remember that these droplets, if they have the avenue to enter into your lungs when you breathe in or exhale around that person, can cause you to become infected with the COVID-19. So please remember, either you avoid the person completely or if you can't, put on a nose mask when you're around them. Protect yourself. Also remember that when you use a nose mask, you can't reuse it for fear that it might be infected during your contact with the person. So we come to our third point, which is to avoid touching your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. Remember that your hands come in contact with many different surfaces and might be infected. The way the virus can come into your body is through your eyes, through your nose, and through your mouth. So if your hand is infected and you're touching any of these parts of your face, there's a high probability that you're transferring the viruses from the surfaces into your body. So please, do not touch your face in general. So we go on to our fourth precautionary measure, that is to practice respiratory hygiene. Please, if you're coughing, you're sneezing, you have a cold, whatever it is, if you need to cough, if you need to sneeze, please cover your nose and your mouth. So if you need to cough or sneeze, do that into the crook of your elbow, like so, just like this, so that you are covering your nose and your mouth and you are not endangering other people. We all cannot tell who is or not infected. Protecting yourself is protecting other people. Either you do that or you do that into a tissue, and as soon as you are done coughing or sneezing into the tissue, you wrap it up and you drop it in a covered thing, please. Our fifth and last point, seek early medical attention. I know that we are Ghanaians, we don't like going to the hospital, but please, if you're not feeling well in any way, please make sure that you go to your hospital, let them check you and make sure that you're fine. If you're home and you're infected, the probability that you're infecting every other person around you is very high. So if you're not feeling well, especially in this time, please seek early medical attention. That's the best way to solve the issue. And please, to all the children that are home now, please, we are pleading with you, stay home keep safe protect yourself the probability or the chances that you get infected if you are visiting loads of places is very high so listen to your parents stay home read your books do your chores be a good kid and also we are going to leave emergency contact numbers on our screen so if there's any issue that you'd like to report in relation to the COVID-19 please contact these numbers and we'll reach out to you thank you for watching our video have an amazing day bye